Welcome back. Today we will be going over our backyard city goats. We have two mama Nubian goats. That's J-Lo and this is Shakira. Very sweet girl. They each have two babies. One little boy and one little girl each. So, come check them out. Built in this little goat shack here. It has a double entry and exit. Uh, with plenty of straw for them to, to go ahead and bed in. And they like to walk through it and hang out. The moms, I notice, they like to leave their kids in there sometimes and just like to sleep outside. Uh, but overall, they all fit in here and they like to spend the night cozied up together. The fencing is all made out of uh, 10 foot sections of pallet that were reinforced and staked. And uh, the kiddos have a play area there. Moms get to walk around, scratch on the post, and kids get to jump around and frolic. We're using that tire as a, a feeder, which has, has worked out pretty well. It's reduced a lot of waste. Here's Shakira coming out of the shack, and she's about to see that there's some hay in that tire. Anything that uh, they don't eat or they leave on the ground uh, does get recycled. It gets raked up and tossed into the chicken condo where the chickens love to scratch around and play in as well. And that's the goat baby play area. They love to jump around and we rearrange it when we clean up in the mornings. Uh, keep it fresh, keep it uh, new and exciting for them. It's been pretty good having these goats. They're pretty quiet. Wouldn't really even know that there's six goats back here. Uh, but they're pretty quiet. They get along well and the kids uh, love playing with them. My wife likes hanging out with them in the mornings or throughout the day when she's uh, picking up or cleaning. Or just comes out and talks to them. It's pretty good. And there's some nice girls here. Those babies are about a month and a half old. So they're close to being weaned and uh, hopefully pretty soon we'll be able to start uh, milking the, the mamas and providing milk for our family. As you can tell, they're pretty quiet, and uh, it's pretty peaceful back here hanging out with them. They constantly have nice fresh water, a good supply of hay, and a couple of salt, of salt blocks uh, to lick, and uh, it keeps them pretty happy. And as long as the babies have stuff to climb on and jump off of, they're, they're pretty happy as well. So we brought in some bricks and some planks, and they get to run around on. As you can tell, this is all done on the side of the house, uh, where it was a driveway. Um, weren't really using it, and trying to get started and with the whole homesteading and self-sustainability, uh, we decided to convert this into our own little backyard homestead. So this is a section that will belong to the goats, and uh, for now this is pretty much our setup. Uh, the, ch the chicken condo is a little bit further to the other side, and uh, we have a couple other projects coming along uh, between here and there that we'll be updating with. There's a little peak of the space. It's not too big and not too small, but I think it works for what we're, we've got going on right now. And here's those babies. After they eat, they start wanting to play. Those are the two boys button heads over there. And now that the family's all here and you know, not too many people can leave their house at this time, it's pretty fun uh, to, to play with them throughout the day with the kids and they get to come out and pet them. 
So it's been a pretty good uh, choice for us in, in getting them and in being able to show the kids the, these babies as they've grown. Uh, when we got them, they were about two weeks old, so they were much smaller and uh, still very cute now, but much cuter then. <laughs> And this is later in the day. Sun's already going down, and uh, it's like chilling out a little bit. And here's our view from inside. We have our own little goatarium. We get to see the goats and uh, monitor that everything's okay. Our little ones are quick to let us know anytime their water's low or they're out of food. So it's pretty good. And here's a goat stand that we built for them. It has a feed tray in the back and the locking pins up on top. This is also made out of uh, some recycled pallet uh, wood and uh, some scrap uh, plywood I had laying around. Just cut some angles out of the, the, the rails on the on the, the pallet, put it on, measured everything out and built a small ramp as well. There's the door for the, the pen and I hope to get some good use out of that pretty soon. Well, that was our City Goats. Hope you guys liked it. Keep up with us for some new updates on our other projects and what's coming on. Thanks again. That's it. Keep up with